Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. Y'all heard? So give me a second, everybody. I'm going to invite some people in. Get this live video started right, you know. How's everybody doing? What's going on? In the office right now. Okay. All right, so a uh, couple of things, a couple of quick announcements here. I'm reading off the sheet here, so uh, I want to make sure that I'm able to cover some of the stuff that I want to do. Um, first, I wanted to give a shout-out to Yolanda Pitts. Matter of fact, let me invite her real quick. Now, if you guys saw my last video on how to optimize YouTube videos. You guys need to do that. If you guys haven't seen how to, I think the video is called How to um, Create Passive Income with your YouTube videos um, or Facebook videos, I should say. I don't have one here. Oh. oh, so. So shout out, shout outs to you guys for uh, tuning in um, real quick. So shout out to Yolanda Pitts for purchasing an Edward Ark shirt for the month of August. Uh, we're doing a No Sleep to Success with DeAndre L. Rucker uh, promotion. He will be giving away a house, okay? And to enter for the house giveaway, you'll have to purchase an Edward Ark t-shirt and uh the steps will be purchase the shirt to snap a picture then send the picture to through the facebook page or to my cell phone which is 312-999-8117 so i'll actually put my number on there so you guys can take that so step one you know purchase the shirt from edward ark and his website is i no, love Edward Ark. Dot com. So I'll put the link on there so you guys can check it out. Uh, let's see if I can actually invite him. Oh, no, I have that. So purchase the shirt uh, from Edward Ark. You can go to, oh, man, it's not even one love, Edward Ark. It's just love. I apologize, everybody. Right. .com. So if you would like to enter to win a house in Illinois from DeAndre L. Rucker for No Sleep to, uh, no Sleep to Success production, all you have to do for the month of August, go to Love Edward Ark. Um, or you can go to the store in River Oaks Mall, purchase a shirt, snap a picture with the shirt on, and then either DM me or send me a pic on my phone, which is 312-999-8117. So, all right, let's get to the next one. Um, how... Like, uh, so a couple of people have been asking me how to um, be in many places at once, because a lot of you guys know that my business model is to reach as many people as I possibly can, right? So with that, hey, what's up, Gregory? Uh, with that, what we'll do is 
a lot of times when you're creating a video, let's say you're creating a, uh, what's that, Nathan? A video for Facebook or YouTube, and you need to write a brief description, right? I'm going to show you guys a very, very quick tip on how you can add a description. You can either write a, a ebook with this. You can write a regular book like this also if you wanted to. Um, this is going to help you increase uh, your reach. Is also going to help you have very descriptive videos because if you use vid, um, I'm sorry, YouTube. If you're using YouTube, YouTube's algorithm works off of the content that you're putting in there. Meaning for your algorithm, uh, for the to, to trigger the algorithm, right? You need a descriptive uh, thing about your video. And a lot of people don't like the type. A lot of people don't want to put. Um, don't want to put uh, long descriptions and stuff. So I'm going to teach you guys real quick how to input a description very quickly um, without typing anything, with hardly any type. So as you can see my phone right here, right? Very simple. You know when you're going to your email or sending a text, I'll probably do it under email depending on how long your description is going to be, right? So I'll, I'll pull up the email. And then what you would do next is hit compose, right? Like you're going to compose the email. Now, most phones have that little microphone right in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. You know, the little microphone right there, right? So let's just say you're about to roll out a video or you want to write a book or write an ebook. And you don't want to have to sit down and type. You're on the go like me a lot. You don't have a chance to do this. Hit that little microphone and start speaking content into it. So you heard it, right? So, okay. Write a book. Quick description for YouTube videos. Facebook. Shout out to Yolanda Pitts. Month of August. Edward Ark shirt. You start putting in stuff like that, right? And what it'll do, it'll grab your voice content and actually type it up for you. You understand what I mean? So just like, okay, I'm speaking currently to the Facebook Live video, right? As you can see, it's actually typing it up, right? Oh, sorry. So I'm going to record some things so you guys can see how effective it is how to be productive for the 21st century do you see do you guys see how easy that is right there you can pump out books in minutes some of you guys already have these books in your mind you already know how and what your book is going to sound like, the narrative of the book. But I'm, I'm trying to really show you guys here, man. I'm, I'm bringing you up to speed to the 21st century, man. You guys see what I'm doing here? This is how to be productive in the 21st century. You hit the email, you hit compose, and then you hit the little microphone and wait for it to beep. Look at all look at all this uh, text I got so far. All I gotta prove all I gotta do now is proofread some stuff. You can roll out pages of this stuff. Here's another way you can use it. Let's just say you recorded a video, right? And let's say you have a blog or you know you want to add some content um, to something. You can literally do the same thing that I showed you with this phone. Hit an email, hit, uh, hit the uh, compose, hit microphone, and hold the phone to your computer to record from your actual video that you recorded. You understand? And it will start to grab the verbal content that you have on there for you to roll that out. 
And then all you have to do is email it to yourself, tweak it a little bit, and then copy and paste and put it somewhere. So that's one. That's, uh, that's another way of using your phone to capture content in order for you to either write a book, uh, have a descriptive, uh, quick descriptions of your videos that you're about to come out with uh, for YouTube descriptions, uh, all this other stuff. So I hope that uh, helps out. You guys can uh, shoot some comments. I'll ask, answer some of your questions too on here while we're doing this video real quick. Um, let me see, let me see what else we can get into. Now, I had, I had a guy that asked me, man, how are you so many places at once? And a lot of times, how can I say? Um, I use different type of software, right? Software that allows me to be in multiple places at once. One of the softwares that I use, and I'll put a link on it, um, which is called Buffer. Buffer, I know some people use what is called Hootsuite. I'll actually put it in the description down here. Buffer or Hootsuite. What these are, what those are is um, they allow you to What did I call that shit? I'm sorry, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of the word that they use, but schedule posts. Okay, that's the word I wanted to use. They allow you to schedule posts. So what I would do, like I have a Buffer account. I like I like the, the design of Buffer and stuff. I can actually create posts for the next six months. So what I do, I batch all my work, right? I do... If I'm going to schedule a certain post, let's just say um, promote your business, right, on No Sleep to Success, I will batch the work in one sitting, and I will post, I will schedule a post for every week. Once a week, it's going to shoot out, promote your business post to Facebook No Sleep to Success group page. Once I schedule all those out for the next six months, I leave it alone. I don't touch it no more because it's already geared and scheduled. It's already automated. So you just start shooting it out every Tuesday or every Wednesday. It's going out like clockwork. So like there was a time I was in a meeting and a post went up, uh, went through and they looked on Facebook and they was like, dude, how did that post just go out? And you're sitting here in this meeting. I was like, I have it automated. I have it scheduled out. So that's how I'm able to, you know, sometimes you forget things, right? Sometimes you forget things. So you schedule it, you automate it, and then you push it out. So Buffer and Hootsuite is a way that I reach more people on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, all of these social media sites, I automate and schedule all my posts to be released in certain days, certain times, certain weeks. So that's another uh, tip that I wanted to give you guys right there. So if you guys, again, have any questions about how to uh, create certain things, like how to market, how to brand yourself, how to sell more products, you know, now is your time. I have a few minutes here. I'm trying to uh, kill with you guys, kind of help you out with your business and stuff. Uh, now, another thing too, man, a lot of times people aren't consistent. They're not consistent with what they do. Like they come out the gate, they come out the gate ready to take on the world, right? You know, and, and that's usually when they pick up a lot of new clients and stuff like that. I mean, they're hot, they're excited, their enthusiasm is up. After a while, they start to lose that enthusiasm. They start to lose that motivation and they they become very inconsistent. Find a way for you to always stay consistent because in today's age, 
out of sight, out of mind, you know, and now there's a lot of people competing for people's attention, right? So if your business is, doesn't have a hot logo, um, your business is not on social media and you don't have a website, you fucking up big time. You, I mean, like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand any business right now. That's, I don't know anyone that can say they're in business and you don't have a social media. You're not using social media. Now, remember, there's only two types of people on social media, business people and losers. All right. Um, if you're not selling, trying to sell some product out there or selling some type of service or promoting something that is generating revenue, I don't know what you're doing on social media. But you want to be able to reach as many people as you can. Social media gives you that advantage. On your cell phone, you can reach hundreds of thousands of people with your cell phone. This is a smartphone now. This ain't a phone. This ain't some... Re hold on, hold on one second. You guys pause. Okay. Now, if you guys were using this and you were walking around the world with something like this, then, I mean, there's no excuse with this either because you can, this is a prospecting tool. You can call this and then make phone calls and generate money. They're, people have been doing that shit for years. But now we have this. You get it? That's a fucking mini computer. You can reach so many people out there right now. Are you, my question to you is this. Are you using your smartphone to its highest capabilities? Are you using your smartphone wisely? That is my question to you. Because if you don't have a smartphone, like Greg Cardone would say, if you don't have a smartphone, what kind of phone do you have? A dumb phone, right? So are you using your smartphone to its highest capabilities? Or are you just doing random, trivial bullshit with it? It's a uh yeah, Derek. Uh, I got a few posts on Nordica Club that needs approval too. Now, yeah, I don't have a problem with uh, approving the post, Derek. The only thing that I try not to do is be spammy, right? The reason why, because once we start like bombarding, like we had this before, where we had an open forum where people can just promote their business, promote their event. You know, pe there were cats on there that were promoting their mixtapes, and it was like over and over, like every four hours, they kept promoting, and it got annoying to the people that were on, in that group. So we had to start approving, like we filter the the posts now. So what I would say is like, you know, if you post something now, now this also lends itself as a springboard, right? When you know that you have the ability to post a million times, that's, that's cool, you know, because you want to stay in, in the customer's eyes. You want to stay in their face, right? But when you know that you only have one shot, one kill, let's just say, I, let's say, you can post something for um, your closing line once a month, right? Let's say we did something like that. You would perfect that post to be able to reach more people. Because that one, you say, hey, I only have one shot at this a month. Next time I won't have that shot. Let me make sure that I'm putting every piece of content, the best pictures, the best um, videos 
to bring that attention over to my brand. So that's what we try to do. We try to filter out and to make sure that when a person does post on there, that they're going to send us the best content, the best images, the best videos that we can post and share with that group. No doubt. So um, it, 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 it's like paid advertising. If you know that you're going to spend $5,000 on a commercial, you're going to make sure that that commercial has your address, your location, your phone number, your website. Uh, you're going to make sure that the it, it doesn't look cheesy. You're going to make sure that the script is done correctly. Heck, you might even go out there and rent a couple of models to add a little more sex appeal to it. You understand what I'm saying? But you're versus, hey, I can put a commercial up on here anytime, anywhere, for free, no charge. And then you, you sometimes people get lazy. And I'm not saying it was you, D, but I'm saying like in the past experiences, we lost a lot of our group members because people began to just shuffle. what Whatever they could get their hands on, they would send it through. So, uh, we do the same thing for No Sleep to Success. We filter a lot of the posts because I, I – I went through it today. There's somebody, you know, just throwing all kind of, hey, I got a new video. I got a new mixtape. And I go on there and I check it out and it's, shit is whack, you know, should be whack. So we do that with all of our group forums and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any questions tomorrow, we will be continuing our no sleep to success with DeAndre L. Rucker at the Youth Peace Center. So stay tuned for that. Tomorrow is going to be off the chain. Um, we're making some new moves now. We're getting, you know, in the political realm. So that's one of the things that we're going to be doing too. So definitely tune into No Sleep to Success. If you guys have not joined the No Sleep to Success group, I will put the post up there. Definitely jump on there and um, jump on there and let me see here. Join the group. We got some real good content, real good people over there. Um, let's see. How do you feel about paying Facebook? Okay, so speaking of paid ads, how do you feel about paying Facebook for promotion? Uh, I used to do a lot of it. I don't do it anymore. Um, it's bullshit, you know. I think it's bullshit. The reason why is this. Facebook has created its own ecosystem, right? It's created its own ecosystem to the point where, okay, like you have your t-shirt company, right? And they want you to pay for likes, right? Once you pay for those likes, people are coming to your page, they're hitting likes. That means now you can, you know, reach them a little bit more. Then when you put a post on your um to reach those likes, now their their algorithm shrinks it. Now you can't even reach all those people that you spent money to get those likes for. Then Facebook rolls out, you know, advertising, your promotion. Your promotion, now you can gear it a little bit. You can tailor make it a little bit more. The only problem with that is that those are still Facebook people. So all Facebook is really doing is recycling the shit out of their own people. You know, okay, we'll we'll reach 1,200 people like this, but most likely they're already in your network, right? So what I would do if you did want to promote through Facebook, I would redirect all of those people to go to your website. And once they go on your website, have them sign up for your either um, – 
a newsletter or your promotion. Uh, don't use newsletter. People don't sign up for no newsletter. Newsletter is dated. Um, have them sign up for some, some dope shit, you know? You need what is called a lead magnet. A lead magnet is something enticing that is very cheap, very inexpensive, and they can uh, opt in for you to capture their email. See, right now, email, email marketing and phone marketing, those texts, phone, the phone is going to just wipe all the shit out in a second. But phone marketing, when you're receiving a text about a certain promotion and stuff like that, that's where it's going right now. So if you can capture people's email address and telephone and they agree to let you promote to them like that, that's great. Because now you're pulling, you're pulling your audience away from Facebook and then you're sending them to your site. So what I would suggest is you get a pop-up. You need a pop-up for your website. This is website optimization. This is, this is what I teach. This is what I show. This is what I bring to uh, clients and companies. You got to have some type of pop-up where it, as before they can actually go on your site and see all the cool shit that you got going on, something pops up in their face and they say, hey, you want to save 5% or $5 on on your next purchase with the closing line, give us your email. Give us your email and your phone number. So now those people are your people, not Facebook people, because any day Facebook could, you know, go under like MySpace and shit. You know what I mean? Facebook could go under like MySpace. Um, they can decide that the content that you're putting out is bogus and uh, they blackball you. That happened too. They can blackball you. Um, what else they do? Uh, they delete your page and shit. Next thing you know, you spend all this money to gain all of these likes and followers and stuff through your private page, your, your business page, and then you lose all of them because a few people didn't like what you were doing and they wanted to get your shit blocked. Thank you. So where should I start to get the pop-up? Uh, for pop-up, you can go to, I'll actually put a couple on here, Sumo, Sumo Me is one. Uh, Hello R is another one. Now, this one is paid. This is a, a paid one, but they're very, very effective. Um, what's their name? What's their name? Opt-in Monster. Monster. Those three right there. You can start off to get a real good pop-up um, with those three right there because those are email capturing tools. You put it like this, man. If Under Armour and Nike can put a pop-up on their website, why shouldn't you, right? Pop-ups are very, very effective. They're, they have very high conversion rates, you know? Um, websites are so sophisticated right now. Like, one thing I would say, Derek, right? I, I went on your uh, Instagram page, and one thing that I've seen that you were missing on your Instagram page is hashtags. You need to add some hashtags. I believe Instagram allows you to put 30 hashtags on, your, um, on each post, right? So what I would do is I would add some hashtags to your Instagram page. So you can start to optimize and, and reach more people. Um, first, start off with about 10, 10 hashtags, right, per post. And what you'll see, you'll, you'll see which ones are, are getting the most likes, right? The, the ones that are getting the most likes, copy and paste it, put it on a, a Microsoft Word document, then create another 10 hashtags 
and put it and start, you know, tweaking that with all your posts. And then you'll see which ones are highly optimized. Copy and paste that 10 added to the old, uh, the other uh, Word, I'm sorry, uh, Microsoft Word, and then uh, do it one more time. So until you have about 30, I, I believe they allow you to get 30. Well, just sent the Nelson, right? Um, I I was able to tell her a little bit about how how to optimize Instagram, and she put uh, yes, that works. So she she's a testimony of my teachings, wouldn't you say, Jacinta? <laughs> right. So. Uh, that's one of the ways that you can tweak the algorithm of Instagram to reach more people. So now uh, YouTube is a little bit different. Now, like I said, like the three main things that you're going to need to reach more people in today's 21st century is you need a banging ass website. Uh, you need what, how many? Jacinta says she got my following went up by a hundred in two days. Salute, salute. So yeah, uh, Jacinta has been. I looked on her Instagram page. She has a culinary business uh, with vegan. You know, she has vegan dishes and stuff like that. She graduated from Cordon Bleu, so that's a that's a very very prestigious. A culinary school out here and she was asking me what can she do to optimize her Instagram posts and stuff like that and hashtags was the main component that I didn't see now descriptions is very important and I showed you guys earlier how to get powerful descriptions and upload them real quick so if you guys didn't have a chance to see that just replay this video and then you'll be able to see it um, YouTube is a little bit different with their algorithm. That's a different video. That's a whole different video on that one. But optimizing and being more productive, I suggest that you guys uh, get a buffer. Buffer is free. Of course, if you have multiple pages like I do, I get the paid version. But I think buffer will allow you, buffer will allow you to add five five social media pages and that could be twitter instagram facebook facebook group page and then you can add pinterest or some or tumblr or whatever it is and then it will you can start to automate and schedule out your posts so even if you're doing some other stuff those posts steadily go out because if, if you know, like to add a post, it, you know, it requires a lot of time and shit. But if you sit down, let's just say you grab yourself a Red Bull five hour energy or something like that, or, or Starbucks and sit down in front of your computer and schedule out your post for the, you know, give yourself about two hours, schedule a block, a block of time for about two hours and schedule out your post for the next two, three months. My God. I, I promise you, you guys will save so much time and be so much more productive and be able to stay in your customer's face or your potential client's face, you know? So again, the three major things that you're going to need with this business nowadays for the 21st century is a banging ass website, a banging logo, and you need to be on social media. You need those three. Then you can roll out into video marketing and stuff like that. Personal brands are very, very huge right now. Now people are not back back in the day, like maybe 10 years ago, maybe like 10, 15 years ago, you would see the company first, and then you would secondary, you would see the owner of the company. Now the dynamics have changed. People want to know the owner of the company first, and then the company comes secondary. People want to connect more with the person than to connect with Coca-Cola. You know, 
People didn't connect with Wendy's, they connected with Dave Thomas, who created Wendy's. You know, people created, uh, connected more with Ronald McDonald than the actual arches. You, you understand what I'm saying? You, you can have more of a personal connection with the characters of the brand, like Chuck E. Cheese, than versus, you know, the word Chuck E. Cheeses. So, Personal brands, building your own personal brand is huge right now. And you don't have to get on video to do it. You can, you could be a hell of a writer, you know what I mean? You could, you know, type up some compelling ass stories and shit and reach people like that and have them ask you questions and say, wow, this, you know, this moved me or whatever. Um, answering questions for people. Um, video. This is a form of video marketing. I don't do this shit for fun. I mean, I do do it for fun, but I do it to push my business also, you know, uh, because I can reach more people by doing this type of marketing. Because once I'm done with this video, I will download it and I will upload this same exact video on YouTube. And I can take that same download and upload that to my website. So one video can reach a thousand to five thousand people at one sitting, you know. So I want you guys to start expanding your mind that way. You can reach more people that way. You guys have any questions? Give it about a couple more minutes, and then I'm gonna be signing off. Let's see if you guys have any questions at all about social media, about marketing, sales, branding. Now. Um, also, DeAndre L. Rucker is going to be um, answering your questions because we did a poll over on No Sleep to Success to find out what you guys struggle with the most. And the poll shows that a few of our members are struggling with growing their business. So DeAndre L. Rucker is going to go into how he grows his business. And I'm learning from him. So you guys will be able to get some really good stuff off of that too. Um, got a question here. Okay, I'm printer is adding a tag logo in my shirt. So now, so I'm listening to you. Oh yeah, absolutely, bro. That's the only thing that's going to separate you from being a generic brand, you know? You have to look at what your end users are like. If See, for me, being from New York, right, that is a, the fashion capital. That's fashion and media. We're known for fashion and media, just like California is known for movies, major productions. Chicago is known for gangsters, pimps, and business, and gangs. you know what I mean? So for me, I know as a consumer that if I purchase a if I purchase an item, if that shit says fruit of looms, <laughs> you know, no, I don't care if it's a t-shirt or not. I want to see that person take the extra time and effort to at least put their logo or tag inside of the shirt. Like for me, I, I can't see myself like Fruit of the Loom is already a brand, you know, or or American Apparel is already a brand. So basically you're telling me that you're too lazy to rip that tag off and put your own tag, you know? So for you to put your own tag on there and to put your own hang tag, like it you would be killing your own brand to leave a Fruit of the Loom tag on the inside, right? And then put a hang tag. That, that would be defeating the purpose. You'd be defeating the purpose. I mean, like, you would be just shooting yourself in the foot on that. But it, now if you change the inside hang tag, I mean, the inside tag, and then you have a hang tag to match the inside tag, now you, you're building more of a, of a brand. You know, it doesn't say American Apparel Gildan 
uh, um, you know, Fruit of the Looms, Hanes, and shit like that. Mm -mm. I, yeah, stay away from that shit, bro. Stay away from that. Um, uh, we got another question here. How do I put a watermark on my picks? Uh, the, the watermark part is easy. I mean, what I would do is use this site called Canva, canva.com. Go to canva.com. What, can, what Canva will allow you to do is um, upload your picture, right? And then it'll let you take your picture and add text, and you can change the opacity of the text. So you can lighten it and put your watermark all over the joint if you want to. So you just upload your picture, um, then go to the text tab, and then start putting uh, whatever that you would like to do on that on that picture. You can add your logo onto it. Um, what up, Ant? Uh, you can add your logo onto it. You can add watermarks to it. You can create all kind of different designs. It has the templates too, so it has the right sizes for each social media site. Because if you guys notice that. Some of you guys might try to put a Facebook cover on there and it doesn't, the size ain't right. And you have to drag and you have to reposition it for it to look right. And it still don't look right. So what I'll do is go to Canva, canva.com. And this already has a template. It already has the size on how to do that for you. Uh, it does it for YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, all of it. Okay, so Derek is also offering um, to do the watermark thing if you'd like. So, yeah, you guys connect, man. Connect on this shit, man. This is what it is. It's social media. Let's not forget, it is media. All you guys own media companies. All of you guys. So, whether you like it or not, if you have a social, uh, if you have a social media t page. You have a media company. You know what I mean? You already have a media company. Um, I remember uh, my buddy in Brooklyn, like my buddy Ant right here too, they would, you know, walk around the neighborhood and they'll go certain places and stuff and they would do a uh, Facebook Live, right? And I, I remember, I think it was you, Ant, or it might have been Gush too that you guys did a uh, a Facebook Live, and I'm like literally eating dinner, watching this Facebook Live on my phone like it's a TV show. Like, it's, like it was literally HBO or CNBC, seeing them walk through the hood, conversating, meeting people and stuff. It was like a live documentary. And I was like, damn, this is like, wow, this is, this is the era we live in now. This is the era that we are in, that we can see live footage, you know, real time and interact with the same people that are shooting it, right? Let's see here. What was the website again for social media photo sizing? Uh, Canva.com. So I'll, I'll put it up there again for you, Canva.com. Thing. Uh, hold on, Man, this thing's scrolling fast. Now, now all the questions are coming in. Where were you guys before? How do I go back up? Ain't that a shame? Social media guy don't know how to scroll back up on the the comment section. Well, what I'll do, I'll kind of go over the. Uh, the comments and answer them individually for you guys. Um, if I didn't get to your comment, let me know. Um, 
yeah, if you guys like this video, man, please share it with your friends and family, oh, you know, people that you feel that will be interested in learning more about how they can um, be more productive for the 21st century. Because the, the way we do business now is hyperspeed, is lightning fast, man. You know, so cool. Thanks, brother. Didn't see it before. No problem. No problem, Greg. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very effective. Check out Canva. I guarantee you'll love it. You'll be on that shit every day, every day. Um, so yeah, again, please share it with your friends. Um, you know, comment, engage. I'm glad to see you guys are engaging more with me. You know, I'm a human being just like you guys. I don't have all the answers, but the answers that I do have, I will share that with you guys. Um, you know, if you guys have not joined No Sleep to Success group page, please do so. Uh, we have a lot of things rolling out. We have Ask DeAndre L. Rucker, um, um, Ask the Containment, Quality Containment Guru. That's another TV show that we're producing. Um, so if you guys notice what we're doing here, we're rolling out pilots and TV shows on this social media network. Like I have five deadly venoms of sales coming up. Um, so what I'm trying to do is for a long time, sales have been, people have been looking at sales in a very, very dark light, like, oh, you're in sales and shit like that. And it was very uncool to be in sales. Oh, you're like a car salesman, shit like that. Mm -mm. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the excitement back into sales. I'm going to fuse entertainment and sales together that way it can drive home and then i'm going to use social media to assist me in doing that you know so those are just a couple of things we have a few of those pilot shows that are going to be coming out and if you guys have any questions you know feel free excuse me feel free to holler at your boy man this is your humble hip-hop sales coach tiger toledo and peace love and happiness to all you guys have a great night champions